Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go to Burundi to look at the life and assassination of Luis Rugasori. Luis Rugasori, born on 10th January 1932, was a Burundian prince and politician who served as the second prime minister of Burundi for only two weeks. That is from 28th September 1961 until his assassination on 13th October 1961. He was born to the Ganwa royal family in Belgian-administered Rwanda, Urundi. From an elite family, Louis had his university education in Belgium, where he spent several years to gather knowledge and political consciousness. After he returned to Burundi in the mid-1950s, he founded a series of companies and businesses to economically empower and emancipate his native Burundians and build up his base of political support. This I'm sure he used to influence and gain popularity among his people for his later political plans. That is, you first get them, then you lead them. He became deeply involved with a nationalist political party, the Union for National Progress, and forcefully pushed for Burundian independence from Belgian control and spearheaded national unity and the institution of a constitutional monarchy. It was clear that, though he had a political consciousness to enter full politics, he found a very nice way to maintain his ancestral monarchy for his people. The Belgian administration disliked his political party and initially attempted to stifle Louise's activities, including placing him under house arrest in 1960 during a municipal election. This was how big and influential Louis became. But as Providence had it, these frustrations rather toughened him and he became visibly involved in politics and later became the second prime minister of his country, Burundi, after their independence from Belgium in 1962. Sadly, all that Louis fought for all his life and put a lot on hold to achieve rather became what sent Louis to his early grave. Louis was assassinated on 13th October 1961, just barely two weeks after becoming the Prime Minister of his country, Burundi. He was killed while dining outdoors with friends and his cabinet members at the hotel in Usumbura. He was sadly killed by a single gunshot wound to the throat, five from some approximately 60 feet away from a group of bushes. The assassin, sensing danger, jumped into a waiting vehicle and escaped without arrest. His killing was obviously a political killing and targeted one at that. After some days, the assassins were arrested by investigators. The main assassin was a Greek national by name Ionis Kajiogis, who fired a shot, and three other Burundian accomplices were also arrested. Definitely, in life, it is always your own people that will give you out to be destroyed or killed. The perpetrators were later sentenced to death and others sent to jail for life. Louis fought for his country and monarchy but never enjoyed the fruit of his toil. May his soul rest in peace. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Please like and comment. Thank you so much.